Welcome to day two, where we continue to explore the 10 ox herding pictures from this wonderful book, Zen Flesh, Zen Bones. Day two is called Discovering the Footprints. So you can already see the excitement where the youth has uh, discovered something that he can actually follow, the footprints. And uh, the path has actually begun, the pursuit of the path. So let me read the poem and then give my brief interpretation. Two, discovering the footprints. Along the riverbank, under the trees, I discover footprints. Even under the fragrant grass, I see his prints. Deep in remote mountains, they are found. These traces no more can be hidden than one's nose looking heavenward. Again, we have wonderful imagery. Along the riverbank, under the trees, that suggests that uh, this discovery happens where there is something in flow. So think about in your life, what people are in flow, what systems are in flow, what products, what books, what things can you associate yourself with that are already in flow. And by following that flow, you can in fact find your own flow, or at least you begin to find the footprints that uh, direct you to your path. Even under the fragrant grass, I see his prints. So even whereas in the first picture, the grass was tall and obscuring your path. Now at this stage of uh, development, you can actually see the footprints underneath your feet of the bull, where the bull has been. Deep in remote mountains. So this suggests again that you have to travel far and gain perspective. Uh, you can't see this path when you are just involved in your ordinary pedestrian day-to-day -day affairs. You need to get out and see things from a distance, from a higher perspective. These traces no more can be hidden than one's nose. So it's right in front of your face. So don't, it, although the, the path might be long and the destination might be far, in fact, the path begins right at your feet. Uh, Lao Tzu's famous uh, quote, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And looking heavenward, so uh, set your sights high. And uh, this is a great time of year to, to build your future vision and think deeply about where you really want to be. Have a strong sense of appreciation for what is and where you are, but also gain a sense of um, uh, inspiration and urgency as you see the, the youth running towards the sense of optimization for what can be. So join me again tomorrow and we will look at the third uh, of the 10 ox herding pictures.